What is healthier coffee or tea? In this battle over health benefits, coffee comes out on top. Coffee drinkers can raise a mug to fiber, microbiome health and lowering risk for cancer and diabetes. But tea drinkers, do not despair. Tea is undoubtedly good for your blood pressure, cholesterol, stress levels, mental health and productivity. Tea always contains fewer milligrams of caffeine than coffee, averaging around 15 to 70 mg per cup. Coffee, on the other hand, runs 80 to 185 mg per cup depending on the type you purchase. Tea seems to be better for your heart as well, because it decreases the serum cholesterol and fatty acid. Coffee is typically brewed at higher temperatures, which allows more of the caffeine molecules to release from the beans into your cup of joe. Tea on the other hand, is brewed at lower temperatures where all of the caffeine isn't extracted from the leaves. Unlike coffee, tea doesn't give you the jittery rush of stimulants. It has a calming effect on you, while keeping you alert. The smooth muscles in your body are relaxed when you drink tea. Polyphenols in tea are responsible provide protection to your cells against oxidative stirs. Polyphenols, a type of chemical compounds that widen your blood vessels and help speed up the process of blood flow to the brain are found in sufficient quantities in tea leaves. Therefore, drinking tea boosts your cognitive function. L-theanine is a powerful amino acid that has proven stress-reducing abilities. It reduces your physical as well as mental strain. The combined effect of caffeine and L-theanine can work wonders in improving attention, memory and many other cognitive functions. L-theanine also provides a great boost to the production of alpha waves, giving you the same benefits as meditation. Caffeine is well absorbed by the body, and the short-term effects are usually experienced between 5 and 30 minutes after having it. These effects can include increased breathing and heart rate, and increased mental alertness and physical energy. Depending on the individual, these effects can last up to 12 hours. Caffeine in large amounts may interfere with absorption and metabolism of calcium. This can contribute to bone thinning osteoporosis. If you consume too much, caffeine may cause also your muscles to twitch. If experiencing caffeine withdrawal, a symptom may include achy muscles. Regular use of more than 600 mg of caffeine might cause the short-term effects listed above. Long-term effects at this level may include chronic insomnia, constant anxiety, depression, and stomach problems. It can also cause high blood pressure or make high blood pressure worse.